Hey everyone, time for another Face Fusion Basics video. By now you should probably already have guessed that I will be focusing on the lip sync feature. I already did a lip sync video before, but that was more of a trial and error video and showing a bunch of examples. Mostly me just having fun trying things out. This is basics, and therefore will be a simple how to and what not to do in order to get your first lip sync video on its way along with a, what I think is a pretty cool example at the end. Before I begin, I'm going to assume you've already done a basic face swap and have a simple understanding of the interface. Not to mention, you already have Face Fusion installed. If not, I have plenty of videos covering those and many other subjects. Feel free to check those out. Links in the description below. First things first, on setup, make sure if you're going to do a face swap and lip sync at the same time, that you have your audio and target images in the same directory for easy selection. Or only the basic lip sync, where you're only going to take a video and try to make someone say something, make sure only the lip sync or frame processor is selected. All you need to do then is drag in your target video and then drag in your source audio. Then, depending on your target video, make sure you have the correct subject selected and then hit start. If you want to do a face swap at the same time, simply turn on face swapper along with lip syncer and do the exact same thing. The only difference being that you drag in both an audio and an image source at the same time, not separately. Whether you're doing the face swap or not, you're most likely going to want to turn on face enhancer to get rid of the pixelation, but sometimes the enhancing can be overdone, so I recommend turning the face enhancer blend to roughly 50 but play around with it for best results. So what will work and what won't work so well? The more straight on the face is in your source image, the better. Zero movement of the face will make it look boring and usually pretty obvious. So try to find a combination of straight on and a bit of movement. If the mouth is already moving in the original, it will only work if your target audio is very similar to what the subject was saying, mostly by how much expression not as much by the specific words being spoken. There's something that I have to say to you. What the hell is even that? If the mouth was already moving, silence in the target audio won't close the mouth. So you'll get a video that looks like it had bad foreign audio dubbing. The Shaolin masters from East and West must unite, fight, and find out who is number one. But sometimes you can get great results because of the expressiveness you're getting from someone that already is speaking. Will you dance with me? With version 2.5.0 and later, Face Fusion now implements a voice extractor to separate the voice audio from music. So if you make some really cool song with Suno or Udio, you can use that audio and the lips of your subject won't be constantly moving because of the music audio and should only move to the sound of the singing voice. I think that's pretty cool. You may have noticed the music playing in the background. This is actually something I made in Udio. I'm going to now bring that audio up and show you exactly what can be done with the newest update to Face Fusion's lip syncing. Enjoy. I hope you got a kick out of that. It was a lot of fun, a lot of work, but a lot of fun. Lip syncing is a super simple feature to use. It all comes down to what your source is and if it will sync up well with the audio you plan to use. 
There is no fix-all solution. Sometimes it just won't work. It can be a lot of trial and error. Play around with it and have fun. As always, I'd appreciate if you would like and subscribe and leave a comment. Thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful day.